Okay, let me go over some of the stuff that's happened in my garden recently. Is this powdery mildew or not? See those little dots of powdery mildewy stuff? Is that powdery mildew? Because I don't really know about much about that stuff. But I know that everyone's all scared of it on the internet. And if it is powdery mildew, then I'm going to spray it with bleach water. And I don't see anyone recommending that online, but I'm going to try it mainly because I don't care if my zucchini dies because it's been making so much zucchini I'm pretty much sick of zucchini right now and I think bleach water would work I think it would work really good like better than anything else I'm gonna try it out and if it doesn't work then my plants will die and if it works then everyone can do it because bleach is awesome okay look this is a black prince heirloom tomato these are heirloom tomatoes I'm trim I trimmed that black prince I pruned it of a lot of suckers because it was going crazy in there and I'm trying to grow some of the suckers in some dirt that's not very good dirt I got some these are the black prince suckers there the stem goes way in there and use around but it rained over here and there is where I get my dirt from it's like this part of my yard that has dirt it had like where all the where all of the runoff came and it like made a dirt foam I just kinda scraped it off and put it in the pot because it was easy to get and I don't know if that's gonna work because that dirt looks kinda weird and it's, it's got very it's like kinda like milkshake dirt it's like the, what the consistency of it is we'll see I mean I don't care if these things die but look there's some watermelons I got some watermelons I planted from seeds growing that I implanted I need to really stop planting watermelons. I got a big problem. I can't stop. But really, I don't need to. I, I don't have. I have too many watermelon plants. Here's that black cherry. I pruned it too because it was growing so slow. And I want to talk about bugs in my garden. I seem to have a perfect equilibrium of predators and bugs. I don't spray anything. Look, these are my eggplants. These were totally chewed up and eaten up when they were little like they were in sad shape but now almost all of them look great and they got flowers they got their little ant colony kicking in all my plants have little tiny ants that live on them and I think the ants are my friends because they eat I never see any bad bugs on my plants but I see evidence that they started eating but then they didn't get too crazy eating and they're not still there hardly sometimes I see grasshoppers but I don't know where they're eating because I see grasshoppers all over my plants but I don't see where they have been eating my plants I think they're just they're just chilling I think the ants are keeping them in check these ants might be screwing up my plants I don't know but they're all over them can't do anything about them unless I kill them but I'm not gonna try poison see all my eggplants they came back to they were doing bad I mean I got bug bites here and there on all, almost all my plants but they're all living and they're thriving and I don't know, I think I got a good, I got spiders all over the place. The birds, I see the birds walking up and down, you know, making the rounds, just pecking, pecking. I don't know what they're pecking, but they're keeping, I got to deal with my birds. If they don't eat my tomatoes, I don't shoot them. They can have all the bugs they want. See, look, the ants everywhere. I think they kill the bad, I know they kill fire ants, that's what I heard. I don't know, 